time. I had, uh, you know, obviously we were talking uh, a lot about at games and uh, what we wish they would do better on certain mm. aspects. And you one of the things that, deep on it. yeah, one of the things that I had uh, mentioned about was the how they kind of hide things. You might say with I was saying about pricing and what games are on, and I. We received a few messages basically saying, hey, you're not looking very hard, hard or enough. in the right not, spot. You're not using the internet properly. It's right here in front of your nose behind these couple of clicks. And so sure <laughs> enough, they, they're correct. There is listing and you can find these things. That being said, it's still not the easiest thing in the world. So I just wanted to kind of show. If you're looking for it, here's how to find it. And also why it's still just kind of like... Mm. Um, so, okay, show us the user experience of the let's see the user website. experience. Okay, so this is the main page uh, that if you were going to the Legends family, this is what pops up, right, on their website. Cool. And hey, look at this. You've got all the products. A matrix. We like a matrix. Right, you got all the products. And, you know, I'm just looking right up here. Licensed games included. You got your 300, 150, 100, 120, all 22, that. right? Here's what I'm wondering. Why isn't the 300 clickable to show you what the games are? Yeah, that would make sense. That would make sense. Right? Oh, that would be what you want. <laughs> but that's not how you're going to find out what the games are. No, instead, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the item, and then you're going to go, okay, now I'm on Legend Ultimate, and then you're going to go, oh, view games list, and oh, look at this. It's just a PDF spreadsheet. Why, Woo, why PDF? You can, make, you can make an HTML page with that very easily. It's just, you know, and, and then what you're dealing with is having to, okay, so great, you've got this long list of games, but like, for instance, you have Asteroids and Asteroids, and yeah. one says console and one says arcade. It doesn't say exactly which console, but I do believe it's the Atari 2600 version of Asteroids, um, as opposed to the arcade version of Asteroids. Um, but but Chris, it doesn't matter what console it is because it's just a console, <laughs> right? You wouldn't want to filter on that information, so you no. can see if your favorite no. console is actually on the list of included games that you get with your product. No, and, you don't and, want that. And this is just you know, no. it's 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 not visually appealing, and it doesn't speak to you very fast. It's not. Just and now you make have this to... an HTML page. Put some filters on it. Like, right. It's you not know. hard. So that's. That's that where I just kind of go. Okay, great. Now I gotta. Look, you know, maybe doesn't... it's maybe it's iteration one of this aspect of the website. Maybe the list is changing too much that it's hard for them to maintain a website page right. on it. Maybe. So the other thing that I was saying was that the pricing of ArcadeNet was hidden, and uh, and I was thinking that's where the game sales goes. So if you were to go here under Legends Arcade Platform and you go and select ArcadeNet, which I had no reason why I was going to do that, but here we go. Here's ArcadeNet, and okay, fine. Hey, look at that. Here's your pricing for ArcadeNet. Um, and I'm glad that they at least made, you know, basically said, look, if you pay for the monthly, one month at a time, you're a sucker. Because um, <laughs> mm. the six months is basically half that price. It's still going to yeah. wind up being 120 for the year, which is twice the price of what Xbox Live or PlayStation Network is. All right, Chris. Well, what do you get for that? So what you get, well, okay, so here's the arcade game, arcade net game list, okay? And you're thinking, oh, okay, great. Look at all these genres. Look at all these platforms. Cool. Cool. Yeah. And I'm looking down here, and I notice, okay, this is displaying 1 through 20 of 104 titles. So oh. it's 104 titles. Okay. And I'm thinking, okay, well, hey, let's, hey, why don't we click on this Atari and see what we get? Oh, no oh. games found. Okay, okay, let's click on uh, ColecoVision. No games found. Okay, how oh, about okay. Sega Genesis? Well, oh, it's fun. Four games I've never heard of. Okay. What, uh, um, let's go, okay. hold on, I want to make a point here. Sega Master System, yeah, doesn't add anything. Game Gear, doesn't add anything. Uh, SFC, whatever the heck that is, doesn't add anything. Um... <laughs> Deco cassette system, okay. Well, it added one game. Into um, challenge? You know, On a skater? Uh, what, what did it add, though? I don't it, know. Just it added skater. Tell. It added skater. 
Oh, okay. Um, because there's no classification on each of the tiles about what platform they belong right. to. Either. The only it's time anything good. really interesting happens, I'm going to deselect all these, is when you go Neo Geo. Okay. Oh, there you go. You got 28 Tw Neo Geo games that it comes with. Yeah, right. Um, okay. So that's pretty good. I mean, you know, Neo Geo games are at least... You've probably heard of them. Yes. And they got Alpha Mission too, which is a great shoot em up. Very right. Good. You know, you got your Metal Slug and uh, All the slugs. Samurai Showdown. You know, so, okay, that's cool. Let's cool. deselect Neo Geo. Let's go arcade only. Well, then they throw in your pinball machines. Yeah, right. I do like those tiles. How they but those tiles. What the hell is Looks Cisco good. Heat? <laughs> it looks like a outrun knockoff. What is Battle Flipshot or Big Karnak or Birdie Try? Have you ever heard of these arcade games outside of mm, being no. in Japan? <laughs> I, I've heard of Bang Busters before, but not okay. uh, Bang Bang Busters. Not might Bang be Bang Busters. Sequel. No. Point being, why do you list all these platforms when literally only three of them are selectable, more or less? Mm, I can only think that they're doing it for expansion purposes later on. Like they've set up the categories now, so that they can add to those categories over time. But okay, that's the only thing I can think of. So does that mean you're going to get a whole lot of Game Gear stuff on on there in the future? It's just like yeah. a preview of the platforms. I don't know. I don't Again, know. it just kind of feeds into that idea of it's a little bit sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> how these things yeah. are hidden. You know, you're you're almost like embarrassed by what you have. You know, if you were proud mm. of the games that you had, then you would make I, like that PDF page should look like what the arcade net page is, where at least we're getting the yeah. little splash graphic, right? Um, it should look like that. And it should also have like a number of different UX improvements on it. Like a, a spreadsheet is not the way to present information on the web anymore like that. You know, you can have like data tables that allow you to filter and sort and and do all sorts of stuff. So you can find the information you need easily, not scroll a PDF. Like, that's right. just like Web two thousand. You know, they they want the technology back. You know. Yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to yes make the correction, but also be make my point. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I think we're probably going to get more mail. <laughs> mail time. <laughs> that's okay. It's okay though. We'll, Did, we'll... Please do send us your mail. Um, with a negative or positive to Chris's direct email account. Because <laughs> at least this way we know you're paying attention. Um, That's right. You know, you made the effort. Tell uh, us that we're wrong because we knows we're doing it right. 